OnePlus 3T was the best selling smartphone, but that was last year. This year, OnePlus 5 hasn't tasted the same success. But still, is the company planning to launch the OnePlus 5T? Looks like it is. You're watching Inner Today Tech and in this video, we're going to talk about all the rumors that are surrounding the OnePlus 5T, its expected launch date, specs and possible design changes that could happen to it. Let's take a look. Some of the images with official in white was leaked online, but OnePlus confirmed that they were all fake. They stated that the OnePlus 5T will be launching on November 5. Later, OnePlus confirmed that it will be launching OnePlus 5T before the end of this year. So right now it's not known that when the company will be launching the device, but it's confirmed that OnePlus 5T is coming. The OnePlus 3T was not so much of a design change because at that time, the OnePlus 3 already had a great design. It was one of the slimmest phone of its time with the best hardware available. OnePlus only upgraded some of its internals to make it one of the best. But this time around, there will be changes in design. There has to be. The leaks suggest that there will be lesser bezels this time compared to the OnePlus 5. And for that, OnePlus will have to remove the home button that had also the fingerprint scanner at the front. Given the fact that most smartphone makers like Google, Apple and Samsung are trading bezels for more screen real estate, this is the only way forward that looks like OnePlus will follow. The OnePlus 5 had a 5.5 inch display, but probably in the same form factor, you will get a bigger display on the OnePlus 5T. Rumors say that it could be around 6 inch in size and have a 2K resolution. Of course, since the top and bottom bezels are reduced, you'll get an 18 is to 9 aspect ratio, something that we saw on the Galaxy S8 and even the Google Pixel 2 XL. Leaked images suggest that the build quality might remain the same. That is, OnePlus 5T could have a unibody metal frame with speakers placed at the bottom, but the fingerprint this time is placed at the back, slightly above the OnePlus logo. Also, the Oppo F5 that is launching on November 2 sports a similar kind of design. Since OnePlus is owned by Oppo, there are bright chances that it would be borrowing its design from the Oppo F5 to help it get an early release. Talking about the internal hardware, most of the information states that it would be remaining almost similar. That is, a Snapdragon 835 chip with 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage would be the basic configuration that OnePlus will be offering the OnePlus 5T in. There could also be a higher storage variant with 128 GB of storage and 8 GB of RAM. OnePlus 5 had dual cameras at its back which means that OnePlus 5T will also be carrying a similar set of modules that is one with a normal lens and other with a telephoto lens which had 16 and 20 megapixel sensors respectively. But at the front it may, there are all speculations, it may get a dual front camera with software upgrades like portrait mode for selfies as well. Lastly, like all the OnePlus smartphones, the OnePlus 5T will be running stock Android interface, but leaks say that it could be built on the Android Oreo 8.0. Smartphones with bezel-less or nearly bezel-less designs are already selling in the market. Like under 20,000, you get the Huawei Honor 9i and the LG Q6. In the 30 to 40,000 price range, you get the LG G6. Beyond that, you have the Mi Mix 2 from Xiaomi and the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus and even the Note 8 from Samsung. The OnePlus 5T is expected to be priced higher than the OnePlus 5, close to the 35,000 price range. And if it launches a higher storage variant, the price might cross 40,000 rupees. So surely OnePlus is not early with its new design, but will it be impactful enough for the company to get more sales? will know in time to come. If you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to have more such videos delivered directly to your inbox, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.